Hello everybody. Hello everybody, it's so good to be with you today, <laughs> yes, it is. and so we're hoping you'll just spend a few minutes with us, and we want you to welcome LaDonna. Yes. <laughs> Come on, send her some hearts up, will you? She is our financial officer, and a very good one, I must add. Yeah. But, so we want to get right into our lesson today, our devotion, and today's devotion is called Theft Proof. Ooh. You can see the safe behind us. Yeah, look at Girls that. Girls lean this way just a little bit. There you oh, go. There's a big, the big mess of safe with, with all the, um, well, that's the room there. That's, that's, that, right. that's a huge door yeah, is, what, I mean, is what that is. It's massive. <laughs> so I want to ask you today, have you ever had something stolen from you? You know, now they make the, the they call it theft proof. Um, mm -hmm. Say like the steering wheel. They have this. What's that called? Oh, you know, um, a lock. It's a bar that goes across it. I can't remember. Yes, yeah. yes. There's a bar that goes across your steering wheel, and it's supposed to be theft proof. Yeah. That's right. I mean, the mailboxes they make them. Yeah. Some, they oh make yeah. Theft proof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Safe. You're looking at one behind us. There's, you know, they they call it auto theft proof. Yep. You know, there's there's certain. Have you ever gotten next to a car that wasn't yours? Like. Oh. I've accidentally gone to a car that wasn't oh. that looked like mine, <laughs> yes. and all of a sudden it beep, 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 yeah, going start off. beeping oh, and going so off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, let me ask you this: So, um, how do we become theft proof? Mm. And so, we're, you got something? No, go ahead. Yes, sir, <laughs> she will in a minute. So we want to be theft proof, don't we? Yes, we so, do. Uh, if you've got a piece of paper, write this down. Mm. Number one, you prepare your house. Ooh, now, you Jasmine, house. have you ever felt unprepared? Oh, yes. <laughs> it is not a good feeling, gosh. It's not. Mm -mm. It, and it doesn't matter, like, if, I mean, it's just, it, and, you know, you want to be prepared for everything you do. So when something happens and you don't have the things, you know, or the necessities to deal with that, it's just like, oh, man. Like, it just, yeah, it's not a I good I know the necessities, like, you know, if you lose your makeup bag, you yes. leave it somewhere. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can relate to that, especially with, with traveling. <laughs> yeah. Or you leave your uh, you, you leave all your um, your your shoes or, or oh, whatever. Yeah. I've left Rick's dress <laughs> shoes before yeah. right before he got ready to preach, and uh, you know, so um, you just do what you got to do, but you don't right. like to feel unprepared. Mm -mm. But Donna, you sh Ladonna, <laughs> Ladonna, <laughs> let's fix that. Okay, so Ladonna was telling me about her friend that was yeah. completely unprepared. On the interstate. Oh no. Okay, so Donna, yeah. or La Donna, I keep calling her. <laughs> la. Everybody say I, La Donna. La. I answer to a lot of things. So. Okay. Right. Okay, tell us about your friend that thought she was prepared, but she was completely unprepared yeah. for what she was about to experience. Well, this was in Asheville, North Carolina, actually, when I lived there, and uh, I, I had a business there, so I met her through this business. She came to stay with me, and uh, uh, then moved there because it was such a wonderful place. You so had a bed and breakfast, didn't you? I did. I oh, did. Okay. For nine years. Yeah. Wow. So, um, anyway, that's how I met her, and she moved there, and she was an executive of this company, and, and she was going to go call on a couple of accounts right there around us Okay. Uh, in Asheville, and the, the weather was cold. We were expecting snow, and... Uh, so she was going to run down to these accounts and take care of a couple of things, just, you know, check them out and see what was going on. And I called her and I said, the snow has really started coming down. You need to maybe get back. She was single. And uh, so she said she was on her way. She was going to go out and get in her car and come back. Uh, and she wasn't that far away. And as it turned out, um, there was a, the snow came down really heavy, really quickly. Oh, wow. The main problem was that she ended up um, getting behind a, a tractor trailer that jackknifed. Oh, on no. the interstate. Oh, oh no. Um, so it ended up shutting the interstate down <gasps> for twelve hours. And wow. Yes, hours. <laughs> most of these cars were all stuck there. They couldn't get off the interstate. A lot of oh, people were just leaving their cars. Goodness. And she didn't want to leave her car, so but she was a smoker. She was out of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> she had uh, decided to just run out because it was 20 minutes away and then right. run right back. Oh. And so she didn't take a coat. 
Oh. She didn't take, didn't have emergency supplies in her car. No blanket? No or, blanket. Oh my goodness. Uh, she didn't have any snacks. She didn't have any food. Uh, that's water. a big one. Oh, yes, it is. For 12 oh, hours uh, yes. a day. There's no <laughs> bathroom. She was almost oh. out of gas. Yeah, the bathroom's a big Yeah, Yes, I didn't know that. That's, oh, yeah. Got to so, find a bush somewhere. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, you don't want to leave your car running if you're almost out of gas. Of right. course, it's cold and you don't have a <laughs> coat. So I was calling her and saying, you know, what can I do? And, and, right. And, of course, she's saying, I can't talk anymore because I'm about out of juice. And, and her phone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. So she was stranded on the interstate, uh, which wasn't even five miles from where we were. She ended up getting back to my bed and breakfast, uh, which she could have gone home. It was only an hour, um, a mile or two farther up to her home. But uh, she needed some place just safe, warm, yeah. comfortable. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And so she came to my bed and breakfast, and uh, she slept all day. <laughs> I do not blame her. I guess so. <laughs> but she felt completely, and she was, she was completely unprepared. Yeah, right. So we have to be prepared. For the thieves, right? Yes. You know, right. we, we understand and we're going to learn as we go who the thief is mm -hmm. that's trying to steal more than monetary things from us. But I want to talk about this that has to do with LaDonna. We walked in the office recently and I smelled this aroma that was amazing. <laughs> I mean, it was like uh, the smell of cloves oh, and cinnamon. Yeah. It was just such a blend of spice and it was, I mean, my, I was just, where is that smell coming from? <laughs> Oh, we forgot our little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she has a, a diffuser. Diffuser. Diffuser, yes. and it's just this nice little smoke coming, or what we <laughs> oh, not smoke, great. but it's steam. Vapor. It's, it's a vapor, vapor yeah. coming yeah. through, yeah. and it's just yeah. amazing. And so I said, What is that? And she said, It's thieves' oil. I said, Thieves, like, as in thieves, like robbers, thieves? Yeah. And she said, Yes. And so she began to tell me the story that. It, that it was had to do with four thieves, mm -hmm. and so a person. Let me let me just go. Let's talk about the thieves oil just All for right, a little bit. Yeah. Now, Ladonna first told me that the thieves oil was for it was antibacterial, yeah. antiviral, antifungal. You know, uh, it's good for everything, uh, bringing balance to you. Okay. Um, so, mental clarity, there's a lot of things that it's good for. Huh. So it wasn't just that it smelled good, but it was for, it, it benefited of, yeah. you physically. Mm -hmm. So I wanted, uh, I researched it after you told me about that, about the thieves. Mm -hmm. uh, I researched it a little bit. And so the thieves oil in 1493, France had a breakout of the bubonic plague. Okay. Right? And huh. so, but these perfume and spice merchants, they were unemployed. It's kind of like what we experienced with the, uh, COVID. with the COVID. Yeah. How that, uh, yeah, things that, are shut down, yeah, stuff's not open. That's right. Really, yeah. So they were desperate. And so these guys, they concocted the, uh, this oil, and so this essential oil recipe, and they applied it to their hands, their feet, their temples, huh. um, their, uh, their ears, and they would put it on their mask. Mm -hmm. And you know what they would do? They would go and steal from those that were dying. Oh, wow, wow. They would steal from them because, I mean, they were dying. So they were desperate, and so they were stealing, and it was wrong. So what happened is they were they were caught, mm -hmm. and they were either gonna be burned a lot, executed by being burned alive or hung if they shared the recipe. <laughs> and so, Jasmine, this okay. is what happened. So after that, they shared it because they didn't want to be burned alive. Right, right. So, so they shared it, and so then the doctors used that recipe to help save the lives of the people that they were trying to steal from to begin with. But you know what they did? What did the doctors, they, they, had, they made a mask. And they put it on there? And it looked like a duck. Yeah. <laughs> so they put, they put that oil, oil on the inside mask. the duck part, you know, to, uh, so it was protecting them and the nose that they were with huh. it was covering. And so that's why we, that's how we get the term. <laughs> quack. Get the doctors being a quack because they wore that. But I want to ask you, now we, the thieves oil, just hold that thought because that's what, that's a protectant mm -hmm. against things that can be stolen from you physically, right? Right. But let me ask you, have you ever had something stolen from you? Mm -hmm. um, Don, LaDonna, you had a story that was like, wow, you got to yeah. share this. Yeah. Tell us about it. Um, well, I've had a lot of things, you know, that, uh, and all of us have had things that mm -hmm. have been stolen from us in one way or another. 
uh, but this was my my car, and uh, I I was pretty proud of it. It was pretty sharp, and it had glass and chrome t tops on it. Wow! <laughs> and they had a lock on them for you know safeguarding it uh, because you know t tops come off pretty easily if they don't have a lock. Okay. So I went out. It was on uh, Labor Day, excuse me, Memorial Day weekend. And uh, I was um, managing properties at that time in Dallas, Texas, and um, I I went to properties that they needed uh, help in cleaning up the property. Okay. And I don't know if that's because I was stupid enough to do it or if I was good at it. I think I was good at it. I think it. you were good at it. Yeah. I think so too. But um, anyway, so. I went out one morning to walk my, my little doggy, and uh, I noticed my T-tops were gone. And of course, that was very upsetting. It's like, oh, I yeah. felt like, you know, I'd been victimized in, yeah. in a way that I had never been before. And so I was looking around, and I decided to take my little dog back upstairs and into my apartment, and I went back down to see, you know, if I could find or see anyone that was lurking around or mm -hmm. might have seen something. You were going to go after them. Yeah. I was going after them, yeah. So you are going to take back with yeah. them T-tops. Yeah, I won my T-tops. So. <laughs> anyway, um, so I had been out there for a little while, and I started back up my stairs, and all of a sudden a guy comes walking. And uh, so I yelled at him. I said, hey, have you seen anybody that, you know, is carrying T-tops? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anything about this? And, and he started just kind of, hmm, let me think, as he walked toward me, you know, Ooh. and started coming up my stairs. And then I saw him looking at my door, and I wasn't too far from my door, and I thought, oh, no, I'm going to be raped. Oh, that no. was the first thing oh. that went through my mind. Um, but... No, he grabbed, lunged at me so quickly, grabbed my chain, my, my gold panther design chain wow. from my neck, wow. ripped it off my neck and took off running so quickly that Are you I, serious? Could, I could not even, I mean, I had a chance, no chance to do anything. He jerked it wow. off your neck. Yeah, yeah. And you know what, believe it or not, it didn't even hurt. <laughs> Because I was in shock. shock. Yeah. shock. Adrenaline rush. Can yeah. you imagine? Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, you know, I want to go back to, you know, number one, you, you're prepared. Mm -hmm. um, you prepare your house, okay? Yes. So preparing your house, we're going to talk about our spiritual house uh, as well. You, in the natural, you prepare your house. Right. I mean, if your door is unlocked and when you go to bed at night, you're, I mean, it's just like saying, come on in. Right. Right. So, right. but, um, you know, people steal because a lot of times because they've been stolen from. Mm -hmm. You've heard the saying, hurt people hurt people. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's usually that cycle, isn't right. it? Mm -hmm. So Matthew 24, 43 says, but know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. That's yes. right. Mm -hmm. So number two, you refuse permission. Mm. Everybody say refuse permission. Refuse permission. Okay, so that's again, you're not saying come on in. You right. can you can have what you, you know, just help yourself. Mm -hmm. um, First Peter five eight through nine says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world." So that's the thing. He said he seeks whom he may, may devour. Everybody say right. may. M-A-Y, yes. may. Yes. may. You know, may is a word of permission. Mm -hmm. So that's what it means. It means permission. Right. So he's saying he seeks whom he may, may. devour. Not will devour. That's right. <laughs> yeah, not that he's going to regardless. It's you, who allows him to. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so how do we give him permission? We leave the door unlocked. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, mm -hmm. number three. Deny access. You deny mm -hmm. access. John 10 and 10 says, The thief does not come but to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, I have come to give you life so you may have it and have it more abundantly. So let me tell you this. Satan's goal is to steal your joy, mm -hmm. kill your body, and he wants to destroy your mind. Yes, he does. That's what he's out to do. So we have to put the thieves' oil on. Mm. So that's the protectant <laughs> against the enemy. And so everybody say hands. hands. Remember, they put it on their hands. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so everybody, so, so think about it like this. Um, the Bible speaks about, he said, well, I want to say this first. Let go of fear, 
Hold on to faith. First Timothy 1 and 19 says, Holding on to faith with a good conscience. All right, remember they put it on their temples? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the temples mind. is our thoughts. Yes. So 2 Corinthians 3 and 5 says, Bring every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Yes. So, mm -hmm. LaDonna, if I say, you know, um, bring every thought captive, would you say that's where it, where the battle always begins? That's yeah. where the enemy tries yeah. to steal from you. So can you, spiritual. Yeah, can you expound on that a little bit? Can you relate to that? Has the enemy mm -hmm. ever attacked your mind? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. All of us, right? All, yes. It's almost daily. Yeah, you know? it is. And I think you've got to start out uh, every day with praying and just yes. asking God to protect you and to watch over you. And, uh, That's and right. And thanking for that first breath you take when you first become coherent every morning. That's so, right. That's yeah. right. You read this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so your ears. Remember they put it uh, behind their ears? Mm -hmm. So the, what does the Bible say? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. That's yeah. right. So our feet, they put it on their feet. <laughs> These guys, you know, I mean, this is our protectant, the thieves' right. oil. It's mm -hmm. a prepare, it's a protectant against the thieves, okay? Mm -hmm. So the feet, what does the Bible say? They are our shoes of, we put on the shoes of peace. Right. And so Ephesians 6 and 15 says, For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so you, that you will be fully prepared. I like that. Be fully <laughs> yeah. prepared. We're aware of the enemy. So That's then, right. like you said, LaDonna, when you prepare, your, you, you start your day, you're right. preparing your house, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So the enemy can't plummet and steal That's from right. you. And then it's the mouth. Mm -hmm. They covered their mouth. Because they didn't want to catch that bubonic plague, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want to catch. So we have, we have to guard what we say. So Psalms 141 and 3 says, Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. The door. Remember, <laughs> that's where they want to break Amen. through. Yes. And I thought it interesting that a thief, they, they're real stealthy. Like, yes. you know, they, when they steal... They're not, they don't want you to know about it. Mm -mm. Now, that guy was blatant. He, he didn't care. care. Yeah, he <laughs> wanted that necklace. I want that gold necklace. <laughs> but for the most part, they sneak in, and that's the devil's business. He will yes. sneak in and try to steal from you. And so, um, again, when I said he, steal, he wants to steal your joy because if he's got your joy, he has your strength. He'll use, right. what are some things that he'll use, um, Madonna and I'll ask you, Jasmine, what are some things that he'll use to try to get your joy? It, oh, circumstances, right? Yeah, yeah, circumstances. It can be anything. Okay, she's our financial officer, yes. so yeah. we'll say finances. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, if if, and he, if he knows that that's going to get your joy, he'll use that's finances right. mm -hmm. every time. And I think most people uh, do have a lot of times financial trouble, especially when you start out in life and marriage, and uh, mm -hmm. the finances are always a big one. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. But he's after that joy. Yeah. Yes, because yes. if he's got your joy, he has your strength. Mm -hmm. So he can't, you can't let him have your joy. No. Now here's something you can do. You can laugh for it. Look, girls, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to do something. Now this okay. is, you know, they don't know what I'm going to ask them to do, but sometimes we have to do it on credit. Okay. okay. So, uh, laugh for it. You know, even when you don't feel it. Right. You, okay. So you ready? When I count to three right, girls, I want you all to laugh with me. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> no, it may be fake. You fake it till you make it, right? right. It'll yeah. come for real. It's going to come. It's already yeah. coming for real. So you, <laughs> so you can laugh for it, okay? You can laugh for it. You can sing for it. Yeah. Okay, sing for it. Okay, give me a line, Jasmine. Anything. Uh, just sing. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, you anything. can't have my family. <laughs> you can't have my family. You can't have my brain. No. You know, and that's what you began to sing. Mm -hmm. in, uh, the joy of the Lord. The joy, the joy of the Lord is my strength. <laughs> and, you, you know, just began to sing mm -hmm. for it. That's what the Bible right, tells us right. we can do. Yes. And when we feel it's been robbed from us, there's things we can do. It. We mm -hmm. can dance for it. Come on. You yes. can get up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And lift up your feet and, and get that rhythm and dance for it. Pretty soon that smile's going to break across your face. You can leap for it. Mm. All right? I'm going to leap, Jasmine. You're on the edge. We're going to leap. Right. We're going to leap for <laughs> it. Right. And something happens, you know, but the enemy's tried to steal from you. Mm -hmm. And really, the main thing is your joy. Because he's got, if he's got your joy, he's got everything. everything. Okay? Everything. So ready? One, two, three. We're going to leap for it. <laughs> <laughs> that felt really good. It I think is. we're going to do it again. You ready? Yes. We're going to leap for it. <laughs> we're going to leap for it. That yes. keeps the enemy from trying to, he, he wants to have that joy. Mm. Okay? 
Hey, we can praise for it. Yes. Yes. When you begin to raise your hands, girl, go ahead. I mean, oh, you know, just as an exercise, I mean, when your hands go up, it's it's that's automatically right. God right. hears yeah. everything. Total surrender. Yeah. Total mm. surrender. You are praising for it. Yes. And you know what? You become theft proof. Yes. You become theft, theft proof. And we're going to have Madonna come on again. She's got an incredible story and that uh, we're going to share another time. Um, but today, we want you to walk theft proof. Yes. Remember, the enemy, that's what he wants. Ultimately, he wants your joy. Mm. Don't let him have it. Stay protected with that thieves oil. It's, it's a it's a thief protector. Right. It's theft proof. But so, um, Madonna, I would if you I would ask if you would to pray today. Maybe you felt like you've had things stolen from you, mm. and like like you can't get anything back. Will you? You got something you want to say, Minister? Yeah. Okay. Um, I wanted to talk uh, briefly about what Satan does steal from us. And uh, he goes after the weakest yes. most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but he also goes after the strong ones, whether it's our pastors, our leaders yes. in our churches, our, our leaders in our nation. Uh, so praying for all of those. But one thing that's been really, I guess, on my heart would be to uh, talk to you about the children and, mm. and even our older, our senior citizens. And, yes. and I guess I'm kind of, I'm there, I'm of that age, but <laughs> um, the ones that are not able to really do for themselves and protect themselves but our children yes uh, we sometimes as parents and and as people that have guardianship uh, we've been given a blessing with the children that's right and uh, to be be able to protect them yes not to take it so lightly that uh, when they are over at someone's house sleeping that's or right. the babysitter's house or uh, any place they can be in danger of yes. being uh, sexually That's right. molested That's or right. taken advantage of in a way that it takes their it steals, it steals their from innocence. Them. That's right. Yes, and uh, this is something that, as a young mother, when uh, my son was born, I I had no idea about these things. I wasn't yeah. taught or talked mm. to about these right. things, and. Uh, it's something that we often do not realize yes. that we just really have to be careful right. with our children mm -hmm. uh, and our loved ones. That's but right. protecting them, God yes. has given me charge over them, yes. and so to protect them and to guide yes. them and tell them how wonderful they are, but to talk to them and to know if there's something that's going on or something that doesn't seem quite right, right. you need to start asking right. a lot of questions that's right. because they're just babies. Yes. And they don't want to tell you necessarily what's right. happened, uh, but you know, uh, you have to be there to protect them right. and guide them. That's so. good words of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, in all that you know, God has given us. That's just you know, you feel those promptings. Yes. But remember, don't let Him take from you. Yes. Be that for Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Would you pray with yes. us today? God, I thank you so much for this day, and I thank you for each and every person that are listening to this and have heard this word, yes. God. And I pray that you don't let the enemy steal our joy, God. Whatever it takes, the joy of the Lord is our strength, yes. and we will claim that and believe that yes. and say that and make that happen in our lives, God, with only your help. I pray for anyone who needs healing in their body, God, right now. Just let them feel your love. Let them feel yes. your touch right now, Jesus. And we ask all these things in your name. Amen. 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 You know, when you're talking about children, I thought about that's our joy, too. Yes. Yes. That's part yes. of our joy that brings us joy. So that's yes. a good word. Listen, yes. we love you all, and thank you yes. for spending time with, with us today. And we look forward to seeing you yes. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.